Hey YouTube, Smoky Mountain Piper here. I changed my name. I like it a lot better than what I had before. Um, like I said, my original name, uh, Mr. Pipes slash Matchbox 28. I really did the Matchbox, um, kind of like a because of of matches 860. So that's where I kind of got the idea. But um, right now I'm I'm in a bit of the I'm not really in the woods right now. I'm actually on the side of the road. It's a little spot near my property where we go to fish a lot. And um, today it's 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 the sun's nice and warm right now. The the wind. I finally found a good wind blocker down here, which is really great. Um, the weather today it, it's chilly, but it's not. Ba I mean that wind is cold. I mean it was snowing last night. Um, and uh, most of the day yesterday, sorry I couldn't show it on camera, but um, it's uh, it's been really weird weather right now where I'm at in the Smokies, and uh, you know I, I I really hope spring is is here in about I think spring the official day of spring is going to be about another week, a little over a week and a half. So we have this week coming up, and then. Not this coming Thursday, but the next Thursday is supposedly the first day of spring. So hopefully the weather starts getting better. Uh, today I'm in my leather jacket today. I haven't worn in a while, and I figured I would today. Um, but like I said, I'm on the side of the road. Um, pretty close to my property. My property is just over this way. Let's see. It's just right over here. Um, oh, I want to show you guys my Alligator 7 Ellie. Look at that. You can see it now. Like I said, I wanted to do it when there was sunlight. Cause look at that beautiful uh, stem on that thing, man. Look at that. That's the prettiest blue stem I've ever seen. I think it only cost me around, I think, less than $80, which was a really good find on eBay. If you're looking for, um, if you're looking for really good estate pipes, check out eBay. Um, like I said, just make sure you clean them when, when, you, when they get them. Um, the pictures, you know, please ask questions, like ask like, oh, is it cracked? Does it have any blemishes? Things like that. And hopefully the, the, the person that sold you, it will be honest with you. But I've actually, um, like I said, I got this thing for like less than, I think less than $80. I think it was like somewhere in the seventies, somewhere high seventies, maybe mid seventies. Um, so not a bad buy for this. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, but I'm. Right now, I'm kind of uh, I'm trying to find a place to really do a vid a good video at, but um, like I said, if I don't find one, like if I don't find a place to actually set my tripod down and film, uh, that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm actually looking right now for a um, a really good walking stick. My last one, or um, I made one, and. Um, it was it was a really it was a good strong piece of uh, stick that I thought and I was hiking with it um, a day or two ago. Um, I got home from work and I was just like I need to get out you know before the weather changes bad and thankfully I did. And uh, like I said, it was it was kind of a day like this you know you just need a big you know a coat. I had my heavy uh, slicker on which I love that thing to death and. Um, I uh, I went for a hike and something startled me. I don't know what it was. Um, and uh, I went to go lean. I was I was going on a hill type situation, kind of like um, like let's see behind me if you can see it. See how it transitions. I was somewhere like something on that. I was walking on um, a friend of the family's property, which he doesn't mind me walking on as long as I'm not, you know, disturbing anything. I can hunt on it. I can do anything I want as long as I don't steal his ginseng. He said, just don't take my ginseng. I said, I said I wouldn't take your ginseng. I, 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 I you know, if that's yours. I'm not going to take it. You know, I just want to hunt and go for a hike on your property if, if you know, if I get the, you know, the urge to do that. And he said, oh, that's fine. Just, you know, those. Just don't take none of my, my, my stuff, you know. I said, that's fine. And, um, um, but yeah, I was 
hiking with it and my 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 hiking stick just it shattered i mean that thing just went and i i i started slipping and i tried to use the staff to catch myself and that thing just just you know just went out from under me and i took a good tumble and uh not too bad you know of a tumble but still but um yeah I, i'm looking for another um i'm looking for a small to hand size you know you know size uh sapling something or something that's dead that's still strong and um I'm looking for something like that. I still want a root system on the top of the handle. I think that would look really cool. Um, kind of like a wizard staff from like the Lord of the Rings or something like that. I thought that'd be pretty cool. I have an eye on a tree right over here. It's just a, it's not small, but it's not it's not too bad. And I have an eye on another tree over here that's not too bad. Um, it looks like it's you know it's not really doing all that much. But um, there's one here that's got root, like embedded into the bark, and it looks pretty cool. But I really don't want to mess that one up. But I, I really don't want to like hurt something that's still growing. You know, I want something that's something that's small that's not really going to do all that much anymore. And it's just you know, it just looks like a stick. You know, but for right now, I'm gonna try to get this pipe going. I got some uh, peaches and cream. If you've ever had um, the tobacco. Um, the taste of summer, uh, multiple dose is also another uh, tobacco flavor that that company makes. Uh, I forgot the other ones, but I've tried the peaches and cream, and I, I got I got spring fever. I'm hoping spring comes by, so I'm gonna start this thing up. But like I said, this is a beautiful pipe. I mean, just look at that. Really nice. didn't really get it. I gotta find a place to put this down, but I'm not seeing. Let's see. Uh, there might. I think there's a little clearing up over here. I'm gonna try to get to it. But like I said, there's so much sticks. In, I've never been over here on this side of the road before, and you know, it, I have. You know, I have my knives on me. I'll show you my knives again when I put this down. But let's see, I think I can. Yes. Yeah, briars over here. That thing. Oh. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's a clearing up here, but it's just a pain in the butt to get to. not that big of a clearing but yeah this tree is a little too big for what I was looking to do for oh well, maybe not I don't know but um Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this camera up and uh, we'll go from there. Flip this. Duh. Sorry, I got my tripod a little low. Like I said, when I'm walking on it, I don't have it all the way extended. But, um, hope I can get my,
great blend, really, really great blend. If you are an aromatic smoker, I highly recommend it. I don't think I've done a review on it, but I really don't. I guess I could do a small review on it right now. Um, because I don't have any printouts on it or anything like that. But if you're looking for a really good aromatic, especially for like summertime um, or springtime, such and such of that matter, um, I smoke it pretty much, you know, any time of the year. And um, it's, it's just something, it's a really good refreshing flavor to go back to. And like I said, it's, I mean, it's outstanding tobacco. Really good, really, really good. Um, like I said, there. I'm looking around me right now. There's a lot of evergreens. You know, some of them are are in the need of a good, you know, trimming and stuff. I got a really nice um a uh, holly tree right behind me here. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Let's hang on. Da, 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 da. Right there. Nice little holly tree right here holly tree right up here it's just amazing how oh there's one right here i didn't even notice that do to do right behind me it's really cool like i said it's i love going out for hikes things like that I love being in the woods um it's hard for me to go camping because when you have crohn's disease it's it's just really tough on you you know it's just you know it's you know like where are you going to use the bathroom you know you can carry one of those portable toilet things if you want i mean i've seen i've even seen where you take um, your truck, you take the ball off of your truck, you know, to tow things with, and you put the, it's a toilet seat. It's in the shape of a toilet seat, and you and you take a crap right behind your uh, your truck, and it's, you know, I, 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 I guess if you had to, that's one thing, but I don't know. But, um, got my knives with me, if you, ch if you checked out my, uh, video last, uh, the other day that I made. Um, I have my, both saxes on me. Um, I have my, this is the one that I have around my neck right now, that's my, um, my Damascus one, and the one I have on my belt loop is, uh, it's just a rough, um, you know, like a, it's just, you know, with the, the top part of it with that, um, grainy, you know, non-finished look, which I really like. Um, and then the, I mean, they're super sharp knives. I carry, like I said, I got those in the mail. I, I love those things to death. Um, do a little exploring over here. So I'm looking for a new staff or hiking stick or whatever you want to call it this is the time when you really want to you know go out and adventure because you know the bears are still hibernating and all that stuff i guess um maybe about maybe a year and a half ago there was a black bear with her cubs and someone down the road over here shot the mama bear which upset me and my dad because you know those I mean they weren't bothering anyone if they were bothering someone that's a different story but um leaves uh, it's time for a camp looking at a lot of uh like there's a tree that was once here it looks like it's been cut but i can't tell it looks more like a beaver was chewing at it yep 
Yep, yeah, that was bit by a beaver right over here. Let's see if I can show you. See the teeth marks on that thing? Right here? Like you can see this perfect. That was a beaver done that. I like to look for stuff like that out in the woods. See where things have been, you know. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I got my eye on a sapling over here. I kind of wish I brought uh, an axe or a uh, like a spade or something with me, to be honest with you, because it's a decent size. Yeah, I hope you guys like the new name. Comment down below what you think about it. I love it. Smoky Mountain Piper. That just rings off the tongue. And, you know, just boom. Smoky Mountain Piper. I live in North Carolina part of the Smokies. We're just on the border of uh, Tennessee. Have you ever been to Pigeon Forge? We're like maybe two hours away right now to Pigeon Forge uh, if the traffic and weather is decent um, with the traffic and crappy weather maybe three to four but um, Gatlinburg if you've been to Gatlinburg or you live in Gatlinburg um, you know the tobacco you know in North Carolina the tobacco shops around here are just crap you know where I, where I live at you know I, I go to the there's one out in Franklin that we that we go to, and they have one, not even a big humidor, but I mean, it's a tall humidor, but it's a skinny thing, and he lets that stuff dry out. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Um, and then there's one in, um, in another town that we go to once in a while, it's where Walmart's at. Um, it's called the pipe nook or something like that and you go in there it's all hookahs and um bongs and that crap and the first thing you go in there they go oh i need to check your id before you purchase anything and i'm like what he goes yeah you have to show your id here and i'm like that's stupid dude i'm like i mean i'm 29 years old and i have to show you my id he goes yeah I'm like, that's pretty stupid. I mean, you should be able to look at someone and tell you're old enough to smoke. You know what I mean? But there are young people out there that look like they're twenty, like in their twenties, and they're only like sixteen. I I met a girl one time, and you know, this was when I was single before my fiance. And I'm, uh, I was like, hey, you know, I, I, how's it going? You know, I took a chance. And you know, I'm a shy person. And I'm like, oh, I'm pretty good. How about you? And I'm like, I'm good. I said, how long, you know, you've been working here, you know, blah, 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 you know, all that stuff. And, you know, and she's like, oh, I've been here for a year or so, maybe less. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm like, you seem like a really cool person. You know, maybe we should hang out sometime after work. And she's like, yeah, you know, I'm like, like sounds good. You know, I'm, it's like, you, you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Oh, I'm uh, 17 or 16, 17. I'm like, oh, well, I'm 20 something. She's like, that's okay. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but are you, you're in high school, right? She goes, this is my senior year. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to work out. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I said, yeah, well, I mean, if I change my mind, maybe, but other than that, I, I don't know. Maybe when you get 18, you know, and it's just. Too many young girls around here. I mean, my fiance is 10 years younger than me, but she's 20 years old. She's going to be 21 in another month, month and a half, somewhere around there. So, I mean, but.
I don't know. I just think love is love. I think if you fall for someone, how can you help it? I mean, as long as it's like a true love type thing. I mean, my friend, friend of the family's mom, I call her mom, uh, Mama Katie. Um, her second son's father was 30 something and she was 16 at the time. But this was like way back in like the you know, like the, like, 50s, you know, 60s, somewhere around there, and back in that time, you know, it wasn't really a big of an issue, but, you know, today, nowadays, you know, like, oh, I'm 16, and he's 20, and he raped me, blah, 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 you know, and it's like, no, it was consensual, you wanted to, well, I changed my mind, so now I'm gonna sue you, because I feel like I was violated, blah, 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 you know, so it's better to just leave that crap alone, you know what I mean? Just find someone around your age, or at least that's 18 or over. I mean, I mean, a, a 40, to, you know, a 30-some-year-old should not be trying to go for an 18-year-old person. But, I mean, that's, I mean, I don't know. It's it's weird. and But, I mean, love is love, you know? As long as that person loves you back and that person, you know, treats you well, that, I mean, it's all well and good, but, you know, if it's back in that time where, you know, like, oh, you're not, you know, having babies by your 15, then your womb's gonna shrivel up and die and all that stuff, yeah, like that, you know, but <laughs> we're getting a little off to topic with this, kind of, like, how did this come up, you know what I mean, but love is love, that, my message out there is love is love, you know, just, be with some if that person makes you happy then i'm happy for you congratulations you found the other half to you and i hope everything turns out really good um so that's my message to you um i'm hearing i can't tell what i'm hearing right now I'm hearing a voice and it sounds like kids. That or it's a bird making a very high pitch type sound or something. But then again, these mountains, good grief, these mountains will just go. If you yell at the top of your lungs, that sound will travel so far, it's unbelievable. And, um,. So I'm looking. Uh, no, I thought it was a squirrel. Meh. Well, anyway, I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, like I said, I'm just out and about enjoying the sunlight. I hope you guys enjoy your day. If you have the day off, I hope you enjoy. If you're working and you just got home and this popped up on your screen and you want to give it a watch, hey, thanks very much. And like I said, comment down below. What do you think about, you know, my beautiful surroundings, you know? You gotta love the mountains, you know? Peace, tranquility. You can be whatever you want out here, you know? It's a great place to be, and it's... Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, sister. Gotta love it. <laughs> but, um... Like I said, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out of your busy day to watch me online and it really does mean a lot to me the fact that i have 30 38 subscribers now is really it's really awesome and um like i said i just really hope that i'm doing justice of you know your guys's liking and taste of your you know videos i'm not like i said i don't edit i don't do any of that stuff i go i i either go to 20 to 25 minutes to 30 minutes on my videos and that's about it like i said i do I want to let you guys know, though, that in another month or so, or maybe even two, two and a half weeks or so, the 30-minute uh, lunch break will be coming back, because um, throughout the year I haven't had a break at work, because I've only been working about four hours, so you don't get a break. Um, I believe I'm getting five hours out in the garden center so i'm looking forward to that so if i do get a break i will definitely be doing my uh the working man's 30 minute 
smoke break. And um, I'm going to be doing that one pretty soon. Um, so hopefully everything goes well. And like I said, I hope everything is going well for you. Um, like I said, I'm still on the lookout for a new walking stick. And uh, hopefully I can find one. That's not in too bad a shape. Pipe went out. Can y'all hear the crick? Right, it's like right over here. Like there's a like a barrier between it, and then it goes down into the crick. Right when I try to start my pipe up, the wind wants to blow. That's funny. Great, great flavor. Like I said, if you are looking for a good summer spring, all year round tobacco, especially, but summer spring tobacco, like if you are one of those guys or gals that only want to smoke this during that season, taste of summer, peaches and cream, boom. And like I said, I got spring fever right now, and I'm hoping that this weather stays like this. There's still a little bit of snow on the side of the mountains over here, but it'll be gone soon. But, uh, I just want to say thanks again for watching today. I hope you guys like the name change. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It has, you know, my, you know, it set, it speaks for it all. You know, I live in the mountains. I love the mountains. The mountains are smoky. Especially when there's rain and all that stuff and high humidity and all that. Beautiful place to be. And uh, like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this has been a uh, tickle in my throat. <clears> throat. Oh yeah, that helped. But anyway, this has been Smoky Mountain Piper. Thanks again for joining me, and I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope you have a blessed day. See you guys in the next video.